Hi everybody, come on in. I know it's been a while since you see me, but we've been finishing up the patio and I'm dying to show it to you, but not today because the next video will be the, the look of the patio. Uh, today is more important than that. <laughs> and today we want to check the last few orchids that we have potted and done experiments on to see how they're doing because I want everybody to learn to do this and it does not hurt them when they're adjusting to check it's uh, kind of like uh, it's better to check and learn what's best for your orchid than to wait and do a mistake <laughs> I think I'm a poet Anyway, um, so we're going to check. I'm going to show you how. Now my other orchids, uh, all my orchids, I have a few here that because they're, uh, they've been undergoing stress from repotting, changing the medium, um, or they're in a real small pot, I'm going to show you the ones that I'm still watering twice a week, except when I forgot. <laughs> and... Uh, I'll explain why and we're going to check our pots and make sure they're all doing okay because it's important and I want you to know it's important especially we have this experimental ones which we're going to deal with first and uh, also um, the next video will be a really good find we got grad sailing of course that's happening and I can't wait to show it to you and I won't wait a week to show you and the patio I'll probably do it at the same time so let's just get started on this and I hope you're all fine and I actually have a request because I know your prayers and good thoughts really helped me with my headache and I want you to send some out for one of our subscribers who who has sent me orchids in the past. She sent me uh, uh, the pearl orchid, Georgia Pearl, because her name is Georgia. I want everybody to send a little prayer for Georgia because she's just getting over a hip replacement. And she's in her 80s and she needs that little extra thought from all of us. So I really would appreciate if you'd send a good word for her. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now let's stop, start this. Now, the first one we want to do is, as you remember, we were carrying on an experiment. And one I had in a bottle like this. And these ones I got, and they had to be changed from moss to bark. And I, I, I don't have the date, but it was just a couple videos back. And this one has not lost any flowers. The leaves are still very firm. So this is our experiment. Now, I have to say the growing season started, but here it's still a little slow because spring is slow. Normally this time of year, my tulips are up and out, but they're not. The leaves are there, that's it. My peonies, usually by the end of April, uh, are out and in bloom. They're not. <laughs> Yesterday we had ice on the bird bath. So it's still uh, lagging behind what it should be. And uh, I think they're saying next week spring starts. It's going to warm up. So we're looking forward to that. So what happened when I did these is I had trouble finding a proper bottle. These do have a blue tinge. Mine do, blue light is a good light for orchids, so I don't think it's hurting them, but we are going to check. This one looks totally fine, and except for the week I forgot because we were so busy, it has been getting watered twice a week, Sundays and Wednesdays. Now we're going to check this one too, but I, could only, I did only have one of those bottles, and I thought this one I put in a small uh, bottle and I was watering it and it fell out and it just isn't enough to hold it and I'm not happy with it. So lesson learned 
is now I have another bottle like this one exactly. It's the distilled water was in it. And I can sink it deeper than I could in this. So I have some bark that's so soaking in seaweed extract ready to go. And let's see if there's any, how this one is doing. Now this is the one that has the long funnel shaped uh, leaf. And I actually heard from someone they got a leaf from inside that and I'm hoping so because it's looking much like it could also be a terminal spike. But the leaves are still firm and the growing tip, because it is the growing season, on here is it got a nice little bulb on it. But let's see how they're doing inside, being I want to put this in the bigger bottle anyway. So um, I had to put weight on it. So I had one of these little frogs where you can hide a key inside. But even watering, because there was very good roots on this one, it wasn't doing good. So we're going to tip it out, and it's dry because it should get some water today. Let's dump that out. That is way too small and not working well. I'll probably keep it for an emergency or something, but I don't... I don't suggest, okay, now we're going to have a look at the roots. Now, it's been dry in here, and I'm going to show you. There's one little root coming here, and probably it didn't help that I didn't water. These ones are definitely needing water twice a week. Now, all my other orchids are used to once a week, except come hot part of summer. I'll probably do them twice a week. So yes, we have we have nothing dying from being too uh, wet, definitely. So I would say looking at this and how dry the roots are, Carolyn, go back to twice a week, especially with these bottles. So um, I'm just going to put this in here. And I have the foam that we used in it. I'm going to put in the bottom. There. And so we have a good root coming and another one. So something good is happening. But even more than that, there's no sign of hardship on this orchid. The leaves are not hanging at all. And uh, they were in moss going to bark. Now this is this is good and you have to see that. A lot of the time the biggest problem is in too much water, not enough. So what I've done is I have here a little bit of lava rock and a little bit of bark and seaweed extract. These sit much nicer. They won't be falling over like this one here is sitting quite nice. They won't be falling over so easily. And uh, what I can do, I'm going to add some of this in here, is make sure it's inside the bottle further because it did not have a lot of roots that were of any, any uh, good. So it seems to want to hang this way, so I'm going to put it inside, and I'm going to put it way over to the other side, and down much further than it was in the little bottle. So now I've got it, as you can see, and, and from what I can see with this experiment and how we did it in the last uh, video not too long ago is they seem to be working and they're getting lots of light. So let me put a bunch of bark in. Uh, so a nursing station or when you first do a repot if you want to try this instead. Although lately when I start doing a change in in potting mix, 
and changing the medium from moss to bark. I, wa I start watering twice a week the whole time, plus the bark has been soaked ahead of time. And this is, is definitely, uh, as I can show you in my other ones, helping. But this is also already sitting way better down here than it was. I'll probably still put a wave in there. But. And um, the other thing I noticed because of the height of my windows, it's been really nice having something to hang in that upper space. And, and there, this one is still in flower, so this is one that I had had a little longer. It's definitely better in these bottles. If you are going to try a bottle, one this size, or even the bigger square ones that some people can get. In our, that's the only one I could find in our grocery store that was good. I'm going to use all this bark. There. And then I've got this um this little frog. What what it is is it's just a little frog. They may get a little iron out of it. Um and he can go in there and he's just gonna hold those roots down, make making them feel they know when they feel safe and snug and uh, that's how I want him to feel so I'm going to show you up close so here we are now I haven't watered it but I will give it a little run through right now and I'll let it sit in the sink because it's Sunday and it's when it should be getting its second day so now we're going to have a look at this one. Now that one had fell out and I knew it had a little tiny root that was starting and that's a good sign because that's an old root and all those old roots you've got the growing season going for you and you've got a little bit more of a humid environment with the top of that bottle going on in this container. So <clears throat> I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to waste it. Not think. Now, with this one, uh, because the flowers were so heavy, I had <coughs> tied some little uh, pipe cleaners to them just to hold them up. So just for you and for my experience, how is it doing? That's what we want to know. So, but I found it was too much weight holding down. Now, if they grew in this container all the time, I don't think it would have been a problem. <clears throat> it would have adjusted as it was growing. But just as a precautionary, because there was no roots growing enough new when it just gets put in. So I'll just unhook this because I will use it again. So these have stayed in blossom, <coughs> excuse me, and the leaves have, have been fine. And we'll see what this one looks like. <coughs> I have a lot of orchids. I enjoy them. And watering days, most watering days, I take time to look at each one and give it special attention. <coughs> Excuse me, and it still only takes me, <coughs> I need a drink of water, hold on. Still only takes me two to three hours for a real good watering for over 30 orchids. And it's the YouTube videos that got me going, getting more, so we can share it all and enjoy it. There's our little froggy. That's our weight. Now we're going to have a look at this one's dry too because they got, it only got, I missed, we were so busy. I missed the watering day. But we're going to dump this out. 
and see with the bigger pot how much more water is staying and how much more humid it is. And I'm noticing, I'm noticing something. The bottom was staying damp in this. And look at this. You see these, these are roots that didn't make it. Look at this. So to, twice a watering day, even though it's draining really good, these roots didn't make it. And see, this is why you check your pot. But the leaves are still firm. But these, these are roots that quite often they will not make the, the, um, you don't know how bad they are when you, when you get them because they've been in moss and they've been uh, maybe over watered. But there's a lot of roots here that were down to the bottom of the plastic. So this one, I say it only needs watered once a week like my other ones. And we're just going to make sure that everything that goes back in is good. Now, have we got any new good root, root growth on this one? Because it's doing surprisingly good. The leaves are good. There might be some little nubs trying to come in here, but I really don't see any anything coming on these old roots. The plant doesn't seem to be suffering, but this is why you go back and check. Anything that is, even some of these that um, were at the top and not actually being in water, I think some of it is just, uh, it wasn't, it, the roots weren't as good as it looked because these are at the top where they weren't even sitting in water. And this is a thing that's happened. So the, it's no sign of any new growth coming on these roots at all. But this all has to come off. So we've lost, so, um, okay, this is the experiment in the bottle. Now, in, when I put them in the pots, I haven't noticed any of that happening, but I still could, but I haven't noticed that much loss. So I, whether you could have just put it in a pot and do what I normally do, I'm saying yes. <laughs> I'm saying put it in the bark and, you know, and yeah, you still have to go back and check because you're watering more often on its change. But I don't see any, we've cleaned that up, the leaves aren't suffering, but we will have to come back and check this one out. Um, because I see no, no sign of roots coming on this one yet. So, we'll just put it in here for a minute, because there's some seaweed extract in there. So, this is how they can fool you. I mean, wow, the flowers look wonderful, the leaves look wonderful, but down on the floor, not so wonderful. So, we're going to put these back in, and we're only going to water it once a week, and not just because of roots, because uh, there is lots of drainage in the bottom of this. It drains well when I water it, but when I feel this bark, all this bark, it is definitely damp. So I say to myself, well, Carolyn, you better just water it once a week like the rest of your orchid. So we're going to put some bark in. They're not soaking, but they are holding, they are holding moisture. So I'm going to put that in there. Maybe one more handful of bark. And then we're going to take this, which this seaweed extract will also help those roots to come. So when you have an orchid that's suffering and its roots aren't good, it's no good trying to give it a chemical fertilizer. It's not going to do it any good. 
we're going to wait for the root growth. It's the right time of the year, and it's going to be really interesting as the growing season goes what happens to this orchid. And I'm still not going to cut the flowers off. The leaves are fine. I'm still going to wait. So um, we soak this a bit. And there's some old roots that are kind of green. This one here isn't any good. I suppose it should come off. But, so there's not a lot of root system here that's... Um, there isn't a lot of root system that's real good, but there is a root system. It's not... It's, it's there, but it's not. Sometimes, too, people say, oh, how come you're not using um, hydrogen peroxide and all this? I used to. I found it didn't make a difference because it's not that it was bugs, it's more care. It's more the plant was overwatered, the wrong conditions, and uh, I, I found that uh, I thought it was doing more harm than good, so I don't do that anymore unless I see a sign of a bug or something. And, and I haven't had uh, the kind of trouble to warrant it. I'm going to put those bottom leaves, that one, and this one, right in the pot. There. Let me show you how I got that in there. Now, if this plant had grown in here, these roots would be going down to where supposedly most of the water was. So now we're going to put the bark in. Yeah, so this bark is damp. That dampness in the bark is enough humidity in the bark to tell those roots to grow. So, surprisingly, the one in the little bottle has already started those old roots to grow, and that's what we're waiting for on this one. Whether it's the bottle or whether it's uh, just the season. So, but it, it is an experiment in live time. Okay. Put all that back in. That was interesting and that's why you check. If you're new to orchids and you're, you're learning, this is how you learn and you save from losing an orchid. Because to leave all that uh, stuff going bad and starting to smell, that's not a good thing. Now because the root system isn't that good, we're going to tie the flowers up again. This one. That helps hold it in the pot and I still will put a weight. But you have to watch, if you missed the other video, you'll have to go back and, and see how it looked, um, why we're doing it, because, um, and is it necessary? Is it necessary? There's the question. I think we're going to just take this. Tie that nicely. There. And we're going to put a weight on it. Make it feel snug. And I'm going to take this little bit of seaweed extract and just pour it in. And let that plant soak a bit too. Now, I'll probably water that again like um, let it run through, water it for maybe five minutes. Like I'm not soaking it per se. I'm just going to let it run through a few times. Uh, normally I would soak it five to ten minutes. But I'm not really set up to do. Okay, now we have to look at um, Alfinia. She's been getting uh, two waterings a week because she's in a very small pot. 
And her root growth is, I haven't watered her for today. And I'm not going to bother her too much. Um, Alfinia, we've had since about a year now. And she has a little spike coming right in here. So I'm going to water her. She's on the normal watering schedule, but just getting plain water for the second time in the week. And she's got a little spike coming. And she has good root growth. She has, we've checked her pot before. She has good root growth in the pot. So she will also get a little water. And again in a, in a few minutes, and probably again, and they can soak it up from the bark. So now we've checked her. We're getting there. Now, Falsogovidian is a little caloric orchid that since I got her in, uh, it's, it's come off of there, even though that's in Dell, but August, the 18th, 2022, I think. Um, I showed you last, uh, just a short video ago, she had two beautiful flowers, which she dropped, but here she is, with two more coming, three more coming. She has been so hardy since I got her. She has grown so many leaves, they're, they're nice and healthy looking. <clears throat> and she's on one day a week watering. And she's in this cocoa fabric liner, which also helps keep a little bit more humidity than, say, a plain pot with holes. It holds a little more humidity. And she seems to love being in this. So she's only getting a, a one watering a week, but she's doing so good. Now she's a caloric orchid. And this is the one that came in bark. <clears throat> I'm watering once a week because I came in bark and I'm putting it in bark. <clears throat> and uh, her flowers have not dropped. She's just, I just love her. She's just beautiful. So um, she, I just want to show you she's doing really well. Her bark is dry. Now, if you were to look at that, you'd say, oh, that's so dry. And the most I would do was give her a mist and wait till Wednesday because she's used to bark. She's used to growing on the dry side. When I checked the pot, when we got her, the roots were very dry, but she was still very happy. And I grow on the dry side, so this is a pot that I don't worry about and if you were to look way inside whether you can see I can see green roots in there here's another one let's see there's green roots in here now there's a lot more humidity inside this pot than on the surface so a mist on the surface is going to be suffice so Let's explain that one, and then over here, now, this is my big lip, and her flowers are beautiful, and she's doing very well. One year I had her too close to the sun, the pot got hot, and it, it caused leaf burn, but she's got nice new leaves coming. And her flowers are actually very big and beautiful. So I just wanted to show you, and it's dry in here, but that's what they're used to. They don't have to look damp all the time, and they're quite happy. This one, it doesn't want to be damp all the time. It wants to dry out when watering day and you feel the bark and you're new to it. If it feels all bone dry like on the surface, then you know you have to water more often. 
but if it's only bone dry on the surface where you could do a slight mist it's only not mist 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 till it's like a watering that's going down inside the bark and you can mist the outside when you mist the outside of the pot then you're just encouraging roots to grow you miss the outside very light here but the outside here you can go a little bit heavier and the roots love it and it encourages root growth they know where the humidity is <laughs> this one's growing a little side shoot and uh, that's good so if you feel any dampness on watering day that's a good sign it's just damp it's not wet then you can water and checking the roots once you get used to that system I never look at my other orchids I water them once a week I never look at them now if I smelt something when I watered if you notice a smell come off then that's a different story you better check it maybe the barks deteriorating or something else is happening but if everything seems good and the plants happy then I would say stick to the uh, your normal and this is how you get uh, adjustment to how to water when to water because everybody's going to be a little bit different so I wanted to share that with you today and that's all we're going to do but I'll be back before you know it to show you some grad cell finds and the patio so I know we've been busy and uh, thanks for coming and visiting and uh, keeping me have the energy to keep doing this <laughs> bye for now